Hello, today I am doing a click eight teach. So if you're on click eight, you're in the right place. Right, when you're on a click eight, you need to be able to count in five, skip count in five. So I'd like you to start at zero and I'd like you to skip count to five. So I'd like you to get all the way to 100. So pause the video and keep on going all the way to 100. If you can skip count in fives, you can skip count in fifties. Ready? So zero. And I'm going to make my five ten times bigger. And there's a pattern, guys. So five becomes fifty. Ten becomes, make it ten times bigger. One hundred. Fifteen becomes one hundred and fifty. And now I can skip count in fifties using my five. So I'd like you now to skip count in fifties. So 50, 100, 150. What would come next? Would it be um, 150? Well, what comes after 15? Was it 20, wasn't it? 5, 10, 15, 20. So it would be 50, 100, 150, um, 200. Right, guys. Keep on going. Go all the way to 1,000. Pause the video now. Right, guys, we've recapped how to count in fives and how to use the fives to help count in fifties. Uh, you also need to be able to count in halves. So we looked at this at Christmas. So we start at zero. The first one's tricky because it's a half. Add another half, you get one add another half and you get one and a half add another half and you get two add another half and you get two and a half add another half and you get um three add another half and you get three and a half i want you to carry it on go all the way to ten Pause the video now. Okay. On click eight, you need to know your doubles. So let's go for uh, what's five add five. Five add five equals um, ten. Well done. But I'm not going to ask you something that simple. What's fifty add fifty? Well, fifty add fifty was like five to five, but it's ten times bigger. So let's make our answer ten times bigger. Well done. Uh, what would six add six be? Six add six is um, 12, well done. So 60 at 60 would be um, 120. Uh, what is seven at seven? What's seven at seven? Seven at seven is um, 104. Oh, oh, do you know, I was doing 70 at 70, but seven at seven is 14. If I made it 10 times bigger, it would become um, 70 and 70 is, now I've got it, 140. Right, guys, so 5 and 5, 6 and 6, 7 and 7. What would 8 add 8 be? 8 add 8 is, um, 8 add 8 is 16. Well done. And if I was going to make it 10 times bigger, what would 80 add 80 be? 80 add 80 is... Um, well, 8 at 8 is 16, so 80, I know it's 10 times bigger, 160. And finally, we'll go for 9, add 9, I know that, 9 add 9 is um, 18. So what would 90 add 90 be? Let's make it 10 times bigger, 10 times bigger, 10 times bigger, 10 times bigger, so it would be 180, okay? So we've revised halves no we haven't we've revised doubles and we've also up leveled it to make it 10 times bigger to tens doubled okay well done right next we're going to be looking at what comes next um oh it's a mully question it says uh, mully is hiding behind the biggest multiple of 10 so Molly is hiding behind the biggest multiple of 10. So I know I've got to count in tens without going past 67. So Molly's hiding behind um, a multiple of 10 without going past 67. 
So I know because it says a multiple of 10, I've got to count in tens. So here I go, that's zero, that's 10. Uh, I know 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Do I need to go one more? I think I do just for safety. We'll go to 70. So we need to mark on where Mully is. So where is Mully? Mully is, um, he's at 67, isn't he? So where is 67? Where would 67 be? Um, um, 67 would be, oh, he'd be there, wouldn't it? So let's put Mully on. Mully's about there. Mully's at 67. So Mully's there. Right. So what's the nearest multiple we can get? without going past Mully, well, we can get quite close to him, can't we? And I think it's that one. That one there. That's the nearest multiple of 10 we can get to. Because if we go past that line, we get zzz, zzz, we get an electric shock. So we can't get to 70 because we've got the force field there. So it's 60. So Mully must be hiding behind 60. Okay. All right, this time, we're going to make Mully hide behind, not a multiple of 10, but hide behind a multiple of 5. So the question is, Mully is hiding behind a multiple of 5 without going past 42. So we know Mully is hiding behind a multiple of 5, so that means we've got to skip counting 5s. Here we go. Right, skip counting in 5s. 0, 5, what comes next? 10 comes next 15 um 20 um 25 um 30 35 um 40 do we need to go any more i think we do because he goes past 40 doesn't he uh 40 um what comes next 40 45 do we need to go any more well, he's, I don't think we do, because 42 is before that, isn't it? Right, so Mully is hiding behind a multiple of 5 without going past 42. So where would 42 be? Let's mark it on. 42, where would 42 come? Where's 42? 42, 42, 42, uh, 40, 45. Oh, I know, 42 is going to be there, isn't it? So let's put the force field on. And we know that that's going to be sort of where 42 is. So we need to work out which multiple of 5 we can get up to without going past it. Oh, there we go. So it's got to be 40. If we go past 40, bzz, we get an electric shock. So we can't go past 42 because that's where Mully is. So it's got to be 40. So the nearest multiple we can get to is um, 40. Well done. All right, guys. Uh, another question on click eight is uh, taking away from 10. So this question is uh, 30 take away seven equals. Now, we could count back with our fingers if we wanted to, but we're going to try and use the strategy of a front of 10. So what goes with seven to make 10? So seven, three. So the answer is going to end in three. And it's not going to be... 33 because that's more than we started with so it's got to be 23 okay let's have a go at saying uh, let's say 40 take away 4 ready uh, let's think of it before what goes with 4 to be a front of 10 and it's going to be um, 6 so we know it's going to end in 6 but is it going to be 46 if we're taking away or 36 it's going to be 36 well done let's have a look at uh, we'll go for 50 this is 50 take away 8 so we know it's going to have two digits there let's have a look at the units there's 8 what goes with 8 to make a 10 8 and um, 2 well done uh, but is it going to be 52? 
or is it going to be less than 50? So if we're taking away, it's got to be less. So it's going to have to get 42. Okay. Uh, let's this time go for 70. What's 70 take away? We'll go for 70 take away 7 equals. Right, we know there's two digits. Um, so 70 take away 7. What goes with 7? Um, 7. Oh, I know 3. Is it going to be 63 though? 73. Um, it's got to be less than 70 because we're taking away, so it's going to have to be 63. Okay, try and do these few now. I'm going to do less mumbling, less muttering. I'm going to go for 40. Uh, 40 take away 6. Hmm. What goes with that? Um, oh, so it's going to be 4. Can't be 40, so it's got to be 34. Well done. Uh, let's go for. Uh, we'll go for 80. Uh, 80 take away 2. Yes. Take away two, uh, 80, 50, it's going to be eight, 78, well done. Let's go for 60, take away four. And what was with four? I think we've done six, uh, 56, well done. Go for 90. 90 take away 8 equals. Goes with 8. 2, so it's going to be 82. Well done. And one more for luck, which is going to be we'll go for 20. Uh, 20 take away 7 equals. Um, um, 13. Well done. Right guys, uh, so we'll revise some of click eight. Have a go now at doing your actual click eight sheet.